If you've bought a new television in recent weeks, perhaps in anticipation of the completion of the digital switchover for TV signals next year, how much did you spend on the cable, specifically the high-definition lead? Well, high street chains have been accused of ripping off customers by encouraging them to spend up to £100 on high-definition leads, which are no more effective than ones costing as little as £2. Well, one man who's got so fed up with what he calls the cable con has decided to fight back. Ruslan Kogan is the founder of Kogan Technologies, who make and sell consumer electronics all over the world, and he joins us via Skype from Melbourne, Australia, so there may be a slight delay on the line. Uh, Ruslan, good afternoon from the UK. Good afternoon, how are you? Very well. Tell us what you're doing to fight back here. Well, we saw what prices uh, some of your main retailers were selling the cables for, being Currys and John Lewis, and uh, we said, look, anyone who buys a TV from those stores, we're happy to give them an HDMI cable for free because... Uh, when I was in those stores and I saw that they're charging up to a hundred pounds for an HDMI cable, I looked at it and thought, what the, um, you know, it's a digital cable. It, uh, it either gives you a picture or it doesn't. And if it does give you a picture, you'll get an excellent high def picture. So, uh, Kogan being the consumer champion said, look, can't have this going on. We're going to cut the cable con and give a free HDMI cable to anyone who buys the TV from John Lewis or Curry's. Right, which is uh, clearly generous on your part, and I don't doubt that people listening to this conversation would also like me to say to you it's quite smart marketing on your part as well. There's something in this for you, isn't there? Oh, well, definitely. Our brand is all about the cheapest prices and being direct to the consumer. So it's all about openness and transparency. So uh, we will do whatever it takes to tell the consumers the truth of what's going on out there. And a lot of the time that does give us publicity with the things that we do, but it's all about giving the consumer the right information to make educated purchases. Right. Well, let's examine this in a bit more detail. Jenny Allen is here, Head of Technology Research at Which You have looked into this, I believe, haven't you? That's what have you discovered? Well, that's correct. So we were getting anecdotal feedback about exactly this, buying a television, being upsold a cable for about £100. So we thought, well, we'll put it to the test. So we tested cables at three different price points in our lab. Um, that's doing ca um, technical tests, but also using our expert viewing panel. These are people who assess pictures on hundreds of televisions a year for us. Um, and it's exactly that. There is no difference between the, the bottom end of the price range and the very top. Well, let me read out um, elements of, of two statements because um, Rosalind mentioned John Lewis and Curry's, so we went to both of them to see what they have to say on this. Now, both talk about their excellent service, uh, the wide range of cables they offer to allow the customer to make the best choice, but let me just pick out a, a couple of points from each because they're, it's quite important in this debate. Curry's said, it's not just about the quality of signal and image that HDMI cables can provide, particularly in higher end televisions. It's also about the protection from interference and the long time durability of the cables and they also go on to talk about the various prices that they sell them at starting at 7.99 ending at just over a hundred pounds uh, john lewis says similar things about the variety of cables they offer including as they put it varying features such as durability length width and speed now the point here russell and kogan is that okay they all work the same unless they're a different length or they're built slightly differently it's not quite as straightforward as you're saying is it um, no, I think that's a bit misleading what they've said. When it comes to durability, it's an HDMI cable that you'll use to connect your TV to a Blu-ray player or a PlayStation or another device. You're not using it as a skipping rope or to go rock climbing with. Uh, it's You plug it in and chances are you'll never touch it again. So durability doesn't really play a part in this debate, even though uh, our cables are durable for four pounds. And on top of that, they talk about speed and, you know, suggesting that you might get a different sort of uh, effect from a cheaper cable. The truth is, it's a digital cable. It sends ones and zeros down the cable. You're either going to have a picture or you're not going to have a picture. So... Um, it's incorrect what they've said. And they're saying, well, you know, it's all about choice. Yes, I agree with that. We try to, at Kogan, give consumers as much choice as possible. But choice is all about informing 
your shoppers, giving them the right, accurate information and mm. empowering them to make a decision. It's not about using a misleading salesperson to push them in a certain direction. Well, let me bring Jenny in on that because I know you've looked at the way we are sold these items in shops. What have you found there? Yes, earlier this year we sent our undercover shoppers out to over 150 um, electronic stores around the country um, and really found that at best um, the quality of advice you get is patchy. Um, in fact, a third of the visits it was actually um, assessed as poor advice that we were given, um, which is really disappointing. What, because what does poor advice constitute in this area? Essentially um, misleading interpretations of the sorts of claims that are made about electronic products, not actually being able to accurately answer the questions we were asked asking the sorts of things we were asking was what's the difference between full HD and HD ready um, how many um, hours of recordings can I get using this PVR and very often we were confronted with salespeople who were literally having to read the packaging um, in order to tell us the answers and, and quite frankly you can do that for yourself Right, so listening to this conversation now might be somebody who in the next few days is planning to go off buy a television and obviously needs to buy the cable to go with it what's the advice? OK, well, the advice is um, you don't need to buy the most expensive cable. You can buy the cheapest in the range if it's HDMI with perfect confidence. Um, and also, just be really clear about what it is is important to you when you go to the shop. Make sure you see any um, equipment you want to buy actually in action um, and take a good look at the remote control, check that you think it's going to work for you. Um, you know, do your research. Thank you both very much, Jenny Allen and Rosalind Cogan.